What is going on, everyone? Nathan coming back at you after a little bit of a break on my part here with some Scarlet and Violet almost ending ability. I mean, kind of like a ship lost at sea lately without my beloved monotype lately. It still exists, obviously. There's people out there playing it tons. I get it. I'll probably come back to it, but I made my feelings on the tier pretty well known in that recent video of mine. Um, and OU I like too. I'm actually pretty bummed. I just had a really busy month, so I couldn't you know, get to make the OU content I wanted to. But just as a little ease Nathan into the YouTube experience again here. We're gonna be playing some almost any ability. Always a favorite of your guys. It's always a favorite of mine. We got some new abilities and some new mods and interactions to look at here. For example, you got Toxic Debris Garchomp, which was already a pretty good uh, lead hazard setter. Now we got Spikes. Now we got Toxic Spikes. We got Stealth Rocks. We're threatening people with Dragon Tail and Earthquake. It, it seems like a good start. Before we get into it fully, um, I do want to just like look over if we go to the stats in the recent month and see what we're dealing with here um i will say though uh I, I did a stream where i was playing this a little bit i think it, i left it up on my channel so you guys can view that if you want to but normally i like to go into stuff like this like kind of inform that can prevent a bit of an, you know not prevent provide a bit of an expert's opinion on stuff like this and be like here is you know i talked to the tier leader and they said this or i played this you know for the last week and my experience is why or whatever you know um, I did not do that for this time because I think half the fun of a new tier, especially almost any ability, is having this crazy moment of what the hell is going on. And if you haven't heard of what almost any ability is, it is a tier where, like the name suggests, you can put any ability on any Pokemon you can think of. So you go, oh my gosh, Iron Hands is amazing, but what if you had a triage on it so it's a really powerful stab, Drain Punch is now plus three priority, or you get Rest on it, have the same effect, shit like that. Um, keyword being almost the ability you can't put on, uh, uh, I forget the name, Shedinja's ability, Wonder Guard on a uh, Electrovire with an air balloon. You can't do shit like that. Um, and it's also worth noting that this tier is currently banned Terrestrialization, which also simplifies things, which for a little bit. I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, it, it's simple. So I'm gonna go to the stats index. This is publicly available information. You can just find all the YouTube stats for all the top tiers. And I just wanna look through really briefly what do some of the sort of top tier things look like. So first off the gates, we have Corviknight here with well-baked body. That's already a really cool application. You have a really strong body press if you hit by a fire move, which is normally a weakness. Then you take that steel flying type ability, uh, stab, not stab, can't speak. Being, well, it's almost like I've been done this for a little while. You take that steel flying typing and it gets even better with another immunity added to it. Um, but also here we're gonna see a big controversy in AA right now that I kind of agree with, which is that ice scales and fur coat should probably be included in that almost of almost any ability. Uh, it's gonna boost your defense by two. It's gonna boost your spadef by two. Seems like too much. I don't know. Like it, like for example, I was I was doing a bit on stream earlier, and this exact fur coat Volcarona set like you can set up on a Volc on a, on a Corviknight easily, right? Um, with your double defense, it's too much because you do this, you come in. You're at plus one your spit up immediately with Quiver Dance, and your base defense is ridiculous to start with, even completely uninvested at 65 defense. So I'm definitely in favor of a, it's, it's been banned in previous generations. I'm definitely in favor of an Ice Scales and Fur Coat ban. I think it's a little bit too much, but we'll try to have fun regardless. Um, and sorry, what I was trying to say earlier was I ended up building an alternate team because I didn't know how to beat this Volcarona where I had a Mold Breaker Dragapult. So your, his whole job was just to beat Volcarona. Um, but if it's Mold Breaker, it strikes me it should probably be banded, shouldn't it? That seems like inaccurate. You should be, of course, banned and darts and we'll keep you turn and I guess Shadow Force, uh, or no, uh, what is it called? Phantom Force. And then, I don't know, Flamethrower just goes. Uh, that is probably more likely what you should be going towards, but you get the idea. It's like... This, this, the Volcarona alone is too much. And there's a lot of examples of them being a little bit too overpowered. But anyways, we'll keep going and look at some other stuff here. It's the Great Tusk and <laughs> so many fun applications of this tier. And like almost the ability to do Pokemon news things and stuff like that. The thought of Regenerator Great Tusk or Regenerator Ting Lu. I, let's just end the video maybe. I don't know. I think it's too much. It's like you take the one flaw with these great Pokemon and you just fix it immediately. On the one hand, like that's that's the cool thing about AA is that you can shore up these weaknesses on Pokemon with abilities and it allows a bit of creativity and it's such an obvious application. It totally makes sense. I'm not surprised, but I'm horrified. Like it's so, like Great Tusk is so good already. Um, 
I've said this many times on the YouTube channel, but I, I've always, I think my favorite kind of archetype of Pokemon is the idea of a big, sturdy wall of a Pokemon without recovery. So a Pokemon that comes to mind with that would be like a Gudra or a Tyranitar or Tinglu, of course, or, um, you know what, maybe controversial, Landorustarian. Like these are Pokemon who have a very defensive role in the game and they're coming in and they're forcing swaps and they're getting progress with Stealth Rocks and shit like that, but they're not like infinite with Regenerator and Recover or Wish Protect. And they're just like, you have to be very smart about it. That's the thing. Most walls feel kind of brain dead. I think that's why they generate so much salt. If I'm just swapping my Blissey on every special attacker, spamming Softball and then Teleport, like that doesn't take any skill. That's why it aggravates so many people. Just like, no shit. But if you have a Tyranitar, you have to be smart about when you swap it in, right? Like that thing is like, if you get spikes up, you have to be, so now you have to be managing hazards well because any spikes is going to be really severe damage. Now you have to be wondering like, are they clicking the right move? And there's a bit of indecision. So I don't know, maybe I, I kind of already regret using the word skill there. Like what is skill in Pokemon? You can make a whole video on what the definition of skill is in Pokemon singles. But anyways, I always like the idea of like a big wall Pokemon without any health recovery, but this kind of just sullies that perfect image I have. Uh, we have Iron Hands here with Triage. I'll be honest, this Triage shit was the first thing I thought of when I thought of this tier. And so I, I don't know if I was like validating to see that it was so high in these stats or like disappointing because it's like not a unique thought, but I guess at the very least, it is kind of confirmed to be good if that's the case. Interesting that they're running Citrus Berry. No punching glove usage? Come on, come on. What are we doing, AA? Come on. Uh, Fluttermane was banned. Uh, that is the other, other fun thing about AAA is there's a lot of bands that you expect from OU that aren't the same in AAA. For example, um, Palafin is allowed, which is hilarious because you can just use a regular Palafin because Palafin scales to the AAA power levels here, which is so funny to me. Um, of course, the way it, uh, I, I don't know its ability off by heart, the way it works is unique to Palafin. So you can't just throw that on like a Star Raptor and then Star Raptor comes back in as like Palafin, <laughs> as funny as that would be. It only works in the junior Palafin, uh, but still, like it's it's a viable Pokemon in the tier, which is hilarious to me. We got Iron Moth, and somebody it's not represented here, but somebody showed me an Iron Moth with. I highlighted some of my favorite sets that I saw here when I was streaming. Opportunist, so you come in against like let's say a Volcarona is setting up, and all of a sudden you copy their stat uh, buffs with these better base stats, and you just go absolutely a ham. Like it's kind of situational, obviously, kind of opportunist of you, but I think it's hilarious sounding. Uh, so that makes sense because Iron Moth is definitely, you know, it's got a good ability to begin with, but it needs something like a special sauce to really make it work. And, you know, Desolate Land making it a really oppressive wall breaker makes sense. Earth Eater so that now it's like gouging uh, weakness is actually not so bad after all. What would you, what would its weaknesses be after it loses ground? Let's look that up. So I go slash weak um, Iron Moth. We would have, can you guys see that? Yeah. Uh, you're still weak to Psychic, Rock, and Water, which isn't bad, because Rock is not a very common stab. In the current generation, Water is not a terribly common stab. So it's really just Psychic you have to worry about. So yeah, that makes total sense, actually. I think that might be the better of the two that I, that I see there. And yeah, Beads of Ruin. I think that's one of those things where it's like, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets banned pretty quickly, because it's just so splashable and good. Same with Hadron Engine, right? Like Electric Terrain or Electric Surge. Such a good ability already. You had a Hadron engine. It's like, what are we, what are we doing here? It's so good. Uh, we got Dragapult, which is normally banned in last generations. AAA, uh, shit like Technician and Magic Guard are fun applications there. And I look at one more before we start playing some games. No, Dragon, it's it's always, it's always good with Extreme Speed. That just makes sense. Uh, one more real one: Iron Valiant with Sheer Force or Download. So it's just Ultra Genesect. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Uh, okay, so let's get some games here. I've barely played any, but they're pretty jokes from what I did. This team I'm going to be running is uh, an HO, just because I don't want to build a defensive core around a tier that I know nothing about. So HO, I can kind of ignore that to an extent. Uh, we got a Garchomp setting up hazards. We got this Dragapult, which sets up screens, but it's also a bit of a golden go with its typing ghost preventing rapid spins. And good as gold can prevent any rapids, uh, not rapid spins, defogs. Iron Hand's gonna be a physical sweeper. Volcarona's gonna do Volcarona shit, but now with double defense. Uh, Golden Go is a little bit weird. Oh, it's not supposed to have tricks still. Shit. Um, I guess I will give you. Ooh, what do I give you, Golden Go? If you're nasty plot, I could do Psy Shock. 
Uh, and it's got lots of speed control still, as long as these two are around. And then back Scalibur's Technician, which is so cool because it hits ridiculously high uh, attack. Its Ice Shard is pretty much like a Scizor Bullet Punch, but also Ice Skill freaking Spear. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm just afraid of Volcarona's gonna be coming against here. Um, my Volcarona 6-0s their team. Uh, depending on the Corviknight's ability, but I'm gonna lead Garchomp, play it safe. You know, Skarada makes an appearance. I hope they U-turn and give me some toxic spikes. Um, how does my Dragapult match against Iron Shreds? I guess fine. So we get all of that up. Very nice. Then I'm I think I might Dragon Tail here because I think they're gonna swap to an Iron Treads and then I can get somebody else in on the rocks and poison spikes. Or you get a spike up and now I just have a really comfortable set of hazards. I'm gonna go with my gut and say Dragon Tail, which was maybe wrong because I thought they'd swap out, but it did a lot to me on Scarada, so that's fine. I mean, you probably have Defog. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk the spike. I don't know. I, I just go with my gut that they're gonna attack. Yeah, it worked out. Uh very nice. We have like an absurd uh, spread of, it's like a, it's like a charcuterie spread. Here's, here's your hazard spread for the day. Two toxic spikes, a stealth rocks, and another spike, enjoy. Um, I don't know what this Corvin Knight is gonna be running, but I don't wanna risk a defog actually. So I'll just go to this and get up a reflect. After we do, we'll be eating everything you do. No, 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 no. I, okay, so it did have defog, which is a nice little confirmation. I really want to U-turn, but I'll play it safe with the light screen here. And the good thing about Dragon Bolt is a screen setter too. I forgot it got screens, honestly, is it's ridiculous base speed it means it's essentially like a Grimmsnarl and it's getting off awesome, uh, really quick screens. So we'll pivot out here to Iron Hands, which is already neutral to Brave Bird, but when we got to reflect up with this 500 HP, we're going to be pretty big chilling. Um, Palisand seems like the wall to us here. If I if I click Swords Dance right now, what do they do? Toad Scroll dies. Iron Shred Super dies. Miascarada dies. The only question is, can we 1v1 Palisand? But it'll get Toxic Spiked, actually. So, yeah, I'm okay to do this. They uh, go for the Defog and let me set up. Not ideal, I guess, but uh, it had to happen. Um, what's Thunder Punch here? This still does nothing. That's so funny. <laughs> You're dead. And what's the answer? What's the play, big guy? Oh, and it was confirmed to be the Beads of Ruin. I kind of like that it tells us that in advance. Oh, but now Palisand's not really an answer. Fair enough. Um, you get Scorching Sands, I believe. So, I mean, <sighs> do I want to risk a swap to Golden Go? I do, I do. Sad, we didn't get too much out of our stuff there. Oh, you're just gonna set up on me? That's so immensely disrespectful. I'll just trick. I probably could set up on you, but I don't want to play around too much. Nice little nasty plot. Oh, wait, it's still a trick on it. Oh, I thought I took that off. So stupid. I'm actually like the dumbest guy. I'm restopping the channel. I'm so embarrassed right now, actually. This is crazy. Um, You can't kill me. There's no way. What? I didn't do so much damage. I'm actually like stopping the YouTube channel now. That's unbelievable. This whole, I'm going back into retirement. Oh man, I really, I really mucked up this one. <laughs> Ugh, I went to it because it had an air balloon and then I tricked at the air balloon. I'm devastated. Why is this thing so strong? So if we get like a five hit, this will be fine. I still think I win this game. Easily it will end this game. Okay, that does not help. It really doesn't help. Okay, come on, come on. Give me like a four hit even, would be fine. Man, that's an L. Um, really wish I was not alive right now. I have to be honest. Oh, can I still win with iron hands? Oh no, man. Devastating, <laughs> I need a crit. <laughs> this is Totally devastating. Uh, then I'll go for Reflect here. Why is Earth Power doing so much is my question. Crits, why not? If we can take two of these, we're fine. Where's my attack? Okay, I think Volcorn can maybe boost past Blissey. I 
do this, and then I think I'm going to go for the win. With this broken, broken Mon. Go Fire Blast. Redeem this horribly played game. Absolutely horrible. I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, we see Toad's Cruel here. I feel like you're going to be fire immune the way you're coming in so confidently. I'm going to risk a bug buzz. Okay. Also less accurate, so probably optimal play all in all. Lissy finally makes an appearance. Boosts its defense on us. Let's just get like, what are we working with here? Oh yeah. We're chilling. Uh... Do I need to bug buzz? 20% of 56 is going to be like 12%. Um, I do have to fire blast. That's fine. Then, I mean, it just comes down to accuracy at this point, but Iron Hands kind of wins anyways. So that's fine. Fire blast. I, you know, I want to miss. I, I would love to miss right now. For the content, I, wow. <laughs> Crazy you can speak into reality there. I hope this misses as well. I would, I hope for their sake that this misses. Well, it's fine. It's no big deal. Then for the disrespect, I'll psychic here. <laughs> Iron Hands has got to do something. He's probably making the thumbnail. He's got to do something here. Come on, baby. Come on. That's, that's clean, clean. Iron Hands clutched it. No misplays this whole game. None at all. None at all. I all skill, baby. All right. Keep it rolling. That was uh, really, the Golden Go play in general was really bad, but I'm gonna blame it on Rust. Yeah, I've still been playing a lot, even though I haven't been recording, but let's blame it on Rust. Let's do that. I don't like the sound of that. Um, also, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but if you have any cool AAA sets, put them in the comments. I wanna see them. I wanna probably go through most of them. Uh, I'm gonna be playing this tier a little bit more than just this one video. And if I like it, I'm gonna throw it in the video. So. Show me your most heat AAA sets and uh, I'll try to shout them out. I mean, I'll, while I'm waiting for a game here, that's the, thing, it's not the most popular ladder right now. So I might have a, a couple minutes to burn here. Uh, so some fun ones that I saw. This one is just disgusting. I don't I don't like this actually. It's bad. If you send this to me, I'm gonna delete you from my YouTube channel. I love this stench mouse hold. So population bomb uh, works in conjunction with that. We can also do scrappy. Uh, you can do a prankster pomot, nothing too radical there, but it's cool. Uh, we got a game with a very interesting team here. We see your Corviknight bird up. Gotta give him the bird up, even if it's a kind of a basic bitch bird. The other thing I like about HO though that we're running right now is I don't have to worry about my lead matchups um, because I can just, you know, go to my dedicated lead every time. It's really just a question of do I click uh, Dragapult or Garchomp? Uh, they click body press. I'm going to go to Dragapult again a little bit preemptively. Just make sure that i am got my ass covered here. Uh, if they Brave Bird's the only reason it wouldn't work out nicely. But yeah, we're fine here. I'm going to guess they're well-baked body based off the body press here. And then we'll go for Reflect here as they U-turn. Wonderful. Sending in Qian Pao, who I will send in my iron hands on. He'll eat that pretty easily. Um... It's intoxicity and to soak up the spike. You're crazy, my guy. I should probably just dragon darts here, honestly. Yeah, especially if you're putting up a substitute. Uh, I eat everything you've got. This is a pretty cozy matchup for me. Uh, dragon darts is generally a solid matchup for the substitute. That's the thing that's funny about Dragapult, actually, is that normally you ignore substitute with Infiltrator, but you also have a move, a unique move in dragon darts, which is also versus uh, uh, substitute. So it's kind of like overkill it feels like so what are they gonna click shift gear makes sense i think again i just kind of take this because you're not you can drain punch me um which we're immune to and overdrive and boom burst we're fine with as well oh wait no 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 it's gonna be boom burst refrigerate i bet actually bet that's totally what's going on here um this golden goes appropriate billion now uh let's refrigerate I don't have much. I can sack Garchomp. It's not the most important Pokemon, but still got like a lot of health. It's a really functional Mon. It might be nice versus Iron Moth, depending on the ability. It would probably be nice versus Claude Sire. And they forfeit, that's a bummer. Um, I really would've liked to know what their ability was. And if I was, I mean, depending on what they were, I could've been kind of bones there. Uh, we see a similar 
team here with these three. I'm going to lead out with my Garchomp again. I like the matchups across the board. Unless we see a back Scalibur, I think we'll be fine. Um, if there's a rabbit spinning great tusk, it'll lead into a 50-50 until we go to our own Dragapult. And this actually isn't great because again, Dragon Darts is a two hit, might ignore our Sash here. I don't know, guys. Uh, oh, that's a tough question I wasn't really prepared for. Uh, or they could just U-turn on me. Golden Goat would be the play. There's no way you use a Shadow Ball or a Phantom Force here, right? I feel like that's the safe bet. Let's do it. Goodbye, Balloon. It could also be Phantom Force, but I'm fine with that because I get a turn of prep. So you see Golden Go, you're my opponent. You're probably thinking, I got to go to King Ambit. This should actually be Focus Blast. That was stupid of me. Really just bumbling this Golden Go set top to bottom. Uh, do you want to double switch on the King Ambit? Or are they going to U-turn on me? Is that banded damage? So many questions. I'm going to mid ground to Iron Hands here. I don't care if they U-turn. They do Shadow Ball. Does a lot. Not ideal. Um, interesting set. I guess they're probably Sash if that's the case. Not my. I, this is a really bad matchup for me. It, I can't stop my own Dragapult in. Um, my Garchomp. Uh, the Sash doesn't work out. I really got to get past just to beat this guy. Not an ideal lead matchup. We get gold or great tusk here. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what the hell? I bet it's probably uh, her body with that low damage. Let's go to Garchomp again. Get up some hazards. It's the only way we're beating this son of a bitch. Take that. And I do one up rocks. I definitely do. You're going to bulk up on me. I'm going to Dragon Tail. Oh, it's also rap it's Rapid Spin bulk up? That's crazy. Uh. And we don't keep up even one spike, which sucks. We get Florgis, which is not a great pull. Oh my god, this game is not ideal. Uh, Volcarona seems like a good play. I have so many fairy weak mons on this team, bro. Um, I'm going to go to Golden Go because it's already weakened. Fine. Uh, let's just make it rain. Let's just play it easy. We went to Great Tusk last time on this matchup, I believe. I guess I should Psy Shock, but Psy Shock targets defense. So no, I really shouldn't. Um, I want to double switch to Garchomp, actually. This time we go to King Ambit with the Primordial C. Pretty cool. We give it a fire immunity, essentially. Um, let's go back to Garchomp here. Maybe the play is Iron Hands, actually. They double to Great Tusk. Fine by me. Uh, I am going to... I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks again. Oh, they read me on that. Disappointing. Now they're fast. Oh, so now they outspeed my freaking Dragapult. Good read. Um, they're gonna come in here with an earthquake and now Golden Go. My only air uh, ground immunity is gone. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, Excalibur, I don't even think can beat this guy. Won't be one is the crazy part. Uh, we don't know what's fourth move is, but I don't want to risk it. Um, do a second Volcarona. So Volcarona can beat it. That's very nice. Can probably beat the slow king who's a dedicated spadef answer uh king ambit maybe not maybe not it's under 71 which is probably pretty important ultimately uh man i'm mad at myself i gotta sack golden go I use rapid spin there again uh someone's got that eq right now i'll should do i'll do garchomp here you have a spike and then i'll go to dragapults i guess i, I think the place by volcarona just go to it raw um, go for one quiver dance. So I'll get up one toxic spike, which will hopefully help with this great tusk in the future. Man, oh man. So we get that up. I think it's got to be Volcarona here just because Dragapult is going to do nothing to it. I'll quiver dance once. They might rabbit spin here, which would be a little bit scary, actually. Uh, oh, and they reveal knockoff as their last move, which is nice. So that does mean that Backscalibur would we get off one hit. There's so much. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to click Psychic here. I bet it's not even an Oko. Slokin comes in. It does get poisoned. Bug Buzz might kill. It's Prankster. Interesting. I'll go for another one as they go for Reflect. They go for a Chili Reception. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad I Quiver Dance now. It's now a plus two. Wait. I just did it for the, for the pivot. Fair enough. The light screen, I don't think Bug Buzz kills. 
Um, we're probably going to see dark type attacks so Dragapult and Golden Go are ruled out. I could go to Backscalibur, but it's not going to do much with that base defense. Iron Hands could swap in and take a Drain Punch and do go for a Drain Punch, which would send in Slow King, I guess. We'd probably send him Florgis. So I'd probably have to Earthquake on a read if I really wanted to get ahead in the game. Bug Buzz, I just, you know, I could calc it, but my head calc says there's no way it kills here. Uh, what's your speed again? DT King Ambit. 85 speed no way. Yeah, I think Iron Hands is the only play. After Klee does nothing. I love you, Iron Hands. Um, if I if I if they stay in and I don't train punch, I'm gonna look like the biggest clown on planet Earth. But in theory, I should wall them. Like Iron Hands handles whatever whatever. If I'm looking at it from their perspective, there's no move that's great here for them. So I'm just going to my floor just for my great tusk. Um. I guess that's got to be the play. Uh, I just kind of want to double switch to Dragapult, if that's the case. And try to get something going. Or Golden Go is a double switch, but still still a great task, right? Sucks. I guess a double switch to Backscalibur would be okay. That's the thing. I'm looking at aggressive plays here, like a double switch, because I'm just down so bad in this game right now. So I'm, I'm thinking this is the best play. Great Tusk comes in. It does get poisoned. We nail the double switch. That's huge for us. This King Gambit's still pretty scary. We don't have any actual hatches that can impact it over the course of the game, but we'll take it for sure. Oh, nice little spear. You don't have a fighting attack. If we get lucky here, I'll take that, sure. Um, you keep rid of my choice ban, which I actually don't hate. There's so much. That's what, what was its ability? Was it Regenerator? Did I miss that the whole time? Is it just that freaking bulky? I would not be surprised if that was the case. In comes Dragapult. Um, I'd be really threatening that this thing, if Ice Shard was available to me, but it's not. It was for Coat. Okay, I was right. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of vilifying. Uh, I probably, I, I just don't see a lot of chances for a Golden Go to do much this game. And I need a swap right now. That's nice. Uh, if I didn't have air balloon, it'd be threatening a shadow ball, a scarf shadow ball, which is nice, but they'll go for the kill here. Actually, yeah, they can do a KO anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, Volcarona, I don't really want to risk. It could also be mold breaker. Um, I'm, I think it's my only real play unless I go for 50, 50 on Dragapult. Again, I want to over predict the drag on the King Ambit, but I think I can still go with iron hands if they go to King Ambit. If they stay in, I'm chilling. Okay, they go for that. Still does 20%, which is hilarious. We'll do Iron Hands again here. It's 15. I double switched last time, so would not be surprised if they stay in predicting a double switch on my part. To make Earthquake a pretty solid play. I'm going to Drain Punch. Nah, damn. That's probably the game. I think it came down to that one. The margin of error, I was down so bad with our start, is I just couldn't make any mistakes. Um... If I'm winning this game, it's probably off of Volcarona. So I guess I sack Dragapult. Or maybe, I think I sack, that was a mistake. I should have stacked Iron Hands there, gone for 50-50 on Dragapult. Oh well. Um, I gotta do Backscalibur to force them out. Question is, do I double switch on King Ambit, yes or no? Uh, to my Iron Hands. Um, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. Go with her own Backscalibur. Interesting. And it's Mold Breaker. Neat. Uh, is y'all Scarf? Let's do it. It's me. Dang, Nabbit. Uh, we'll do this. I think the game's over. I'm going to Earthquake on the Dragobolt to let him know. I know it's up. You can't play with me like that. And also, mm, 18th misplay of this live is his announcement. It's Mold Breaker. That's disappointing. Uh, you aren't choice locked. Interesting. Um, I can easily kill now if I go for a fire blast. You're not banded, and I've got 330 defense. I'm gonna risk the quiver dance. Oh my god, it still kills. It's crazy. Okay, I'll go for one more. Couple mistakes in that one, but I'm gonna do the tier. I'll give myself a little bit of a break. Little tiny bit of a break. 
Uh, as we see Houndstone, Mousehold, Chi Yu. This is a terrifying team. Looks like a bit of a Sun team, honestly. I wonder if the Garchomp lead here. Let's see, Mousehold, sure enough. Um, are you scrappy is the question. That's the ultimate question. I'm going to risk Golden Go on it because I don't think it's got too much that looks valuable in this game. We'll see. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh... A nasty plot here? Am I, am I like that? Yeah, why not? It's nothing disrespectfully low damage. This will get the kill, which will send in Chi Yu, which I'll go to my Garchomp on. Yeah. Although Mobic Body, maybe I risk it versus Chi Yu. It's like a 50 50 versus Dark Pulse. I don't know. If I'm my opponent looking at this team, I'm definitely Dark Pulsing, let's be honest. But it'd be really funny if this worked out. So, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, uh, now I'll go to Iron Hands. And, man, if I Swords Dance, I'm in a good way right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. It depends if they respect the triage or not. This is a very common Mon. They don't respect the triage, and they're actually Choice Lock too, which is insane to me. Uh... I'll drain punch. What the hell? Take a Torkoal. EQ will easily to a KO. Oh, maybe not if a crit's doing that little. Man, you got 800 defense. How are you doing so little? This guy also first shot. It definitely is. Definitely is. And he's iron defensing on me? There's no way. This is unprecedented levels of disrespect. There's no way this is happening to me. Please don't sleep talk. Please don't sleep talk. I'm panicking. I'm full on having a meltdown. Don't don't get it again. Don't get it again. Is it worth a drain punch? There's no way it is. Oh my god. I'm I'm crying. That was my only special attacker besides Volcarona. Freaking out. Oh, he misplayed it. Nice, 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 nice. Um it should rest here. I'm going to go for this, expecting a rest. I only got 6% back from that. It's insane. This is my hell. I This tier was a mistake. This video is never going to go live. I'm canceling my YouTube channel. I'm becoming a TikTok star. Moving to California. Starting a sketchy supplement brand. Uh, or at least signing a deal with them. And freaking joining the lottery. I... I, I I'm at a loss. I should have done this from the beginning, but oh well. Just kill my shit. <laughs> okay, good. I think I can still win. Get Chi Yu here. Uh, I'll take that Earthquake for sure. I'll take that action. So they activate their Turbo Blaze. It's pretty slow. Very nice. And then I can go for some hazards after the fact. Okay. So you know what? Only one absolute meltdown in the books. That's a margin of error we can work with. Uh, you might defog here, but I'm gonna try for spikes. I'm gonna give it a shot as you swap to Houndstone. These disrespectful ass AA players. Come on, what are we doing here? No, 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 no. I do gotta keep Garchomp healthy though, because Torkoal is really scary all in all. Oh, you're still asleep. I don't think this will kill. This will do 25%. 29, ugh, embarrassing. This guy, the fact that I'm losing this guy who doesn't understand how sleep talk works is not a good look for me. It's not a good look at all. <laughs> Toxic debris. What kind of clown would use that? Not me. Couldn't be me. Uh, yeah, I got to keep this guy healthy for uh, Corviknight and Torkoal no longer an issue, which is nice. Uh, do we know what the Corviknight is? Are they well-baked body? Do we got to worry about that? I think I saw that with a five hit back, Scalibur can do 80 something percent to uh, non boosted Corviknight, so that's pretty chill. Back Scalibur should sweep for the end game. That'd be nice. I don't want to win again off as Fall Corona. I don't, my ego is too slim at this point. I don't think I can take it. No, don't do, if you bulk up, so help me God. Roll pack. Roll pack. Interesting. Rocky Helmet is not nice either. Gonna come back up to Corv. They are. 
Um, yeah, I'll dragon tail again. What the hell? We're gonna roost. That's fine. <clears throat> then houndstone comes out, which I will meet with my dragapult here. Yeah, why not? And uh, go for dragon darts. Should kill. I'm feeling optimistic it'll kill. No. Disappointing. But I'm still going to get one. And I'm just worried about if your scarf is all, right? Because your DT, let's see, DT. If it was scarf, it wouldn't have outsped that Corviknight earlier. Or that uh, uh, Dragobolt earlier. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little scared he's scarfed. But worst case scenario, we go to my Volcorona, which will probably beat the Corviknight. So I feel... That sucks. If this thing is well-baked body, I am moving to California. That whole rant from earlier is going to stand. Please, God. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> That's going to end the showdown live. Thank you guys for watching. It was a bit of a shit show, but hey, fun was had, at least by one side. Maybe you guys are like that Walter White meme of, uh, don't do it, Walter. Maybe this is just you guys, the viewer, the whole time. Uh, what is, what is the meme? Where's the car? Yeah, maybe this is you guys the whole time watching me play. But uh, at least I had fun. So that's good. So I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, take it easy.